So I told y'all how I feel about this situation. You know, everybody, everybody was pulling out the champagne bottles and popping corks and mm. celebrating and getting all in the street dancing and shit because they said, well, for right now, Spider-Man is still home. could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. And that, uh, that, 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 it's, it's parallel dimensions and multiverses. They say about to get bigger now. And some people are saying that's a good thing. And some people are saying, well, if we look at this right here, that might not be very good. And I made a video where I told you straight up, I said, I'm happy to have another movie because that's what the deal is. Uh, they said they got Spider Man at least for right now for one more movie so they can kind of one more movie co- co- and one and more appearance one more appearance right. whatever that means so yeah whatever that means one yeah. more appearance one more mention whatever so they get a chance to tie up all the loose ends that were left behind by Spider Man Far From Home which I think is a great Spider Man movie I had a great time with it I want to see this story continue mm-hmm. which is why I was telling yo pessimistic ass Amen. over there I said there's too much at stake you think Marvel's gonna leave this shit just dangling they, I, mean, I think Sony's a company that definitely would yeah I mean look Disney had the most lose out of this situation because they built this up they're, they're, the reason why people love Spider-Man now is because of people like Kevin Feige and that creative team at Disney and, and that's what it is they had the most to lose out of this situation where Sony's like alright you built up this character and we can kind of do whatever we want we could ignore that storyline people are gonna in their mind I bet they're saying people are gonna see a Spider-Man movie no matter what yep. and so we can always maybe get back to that eventually but hey let's team up with Venom let's but, team up with Morbius yeah. and all those other crazy yep. shit they were but playing but see that's why I was Madam saying, Web. Uh, <laughs> Matt, yeah. <laughs> Marvel, on the other hand, had yeah. too much to lose. Yeah, no, Marvel, they, Marvel, Disney, Marvel proper. Yeah, Disney. Marvel, yeah, Marvel, Disney. Yeah, mm-hmm. Disney had too much to lose. That's why I said I just have a feeling that no matter how many of these stories that we hear, something at some point is going to happen. Yeah, I was like, they're going to work this shit out. Yeah, they'll do another deal. Yeah, and and lo and behold, they did. But you know, and I so I told you, I said, I'm as as long as look, as long as Sony has this. That is, it is never going to be a happy day for me. Yes. I might, it might be a satisfied day. It might be, well, okay, it's good for now day, mm-hmm. but it ain't going to be no bright, sunshiny, happy fucking day as long as Sony has the upper hand. I said this, but when, 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 when Spider-Man came over the first time, I said, man, this is cool. I'm, I can't wait to see this. Yeah. But in the back of my mind, I'm worried. He's never safe. He's never He's safe. never going to be safe. No, mm-hmm. Never. And that's and you know I, I said my piece. People under, I, more people understood than not. People, mm-hmm. people weren't. I thought people wouldn't get mad. You were cool about it because y'all know what's up. But what'd you think about this whole thing, Martin? A, not at all shocked. Knew it would happen mm-hmm. <laughs> because, like you said, uh, Disney Marvel had too much to lose. Yeah, and if nothing else, they could always fall back on the original deal they had. Yeah, because uh, the the deal they had was a sweetheart deal for Sony. Yeah, it was like, oh, you guys gonna do all the work and pay for everything, and mm-hmm. we just have to sit back and collect some some profits. Yeah, sure, why not? It was only fair that, that Marvel would say like, hey, how about you know we kind of fifty fifty this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Sony going, no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, you know, look, it's good that he'll get a third movie because all the major characters have had to get three movies. Yes. And so, hey, he'll 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 get to have that third one, and an appearance in what'll be probably the next Avengers movie, or whatever they do. That's I'm thinking. That'll too. be satisfying. Yeah. If they cut it off there, you got enough. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, if Sony takes it, okay. This is this is what's been happening all along. There is no money flowing into anybody else's pockets other than theirs. Just be happy with what you got. Like yeah. my, my only my only fear is, is that look, let's, I, I'm like I'm happy they can finally end this this arc for 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 Peter the, the homecoming trilogy or whatever yeah, yeah, they're calling. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think that's exciting, yeah. and hopefully, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like his next appearance is going to be like an Avengers, new Avengers. Yeah. Maybe he's one of the the new founding members or something. Sure. But even if that that ends and that's it, and then he goes back to Sony, my fear is then he's just going to be, be mistreated like he was with all those other films that they did and spinoffs, whether it have been the two Amazing Spider-Man films. 
Spider-Man 3, which I know we can disagree on, but um, th- I just don't want this character to be mistreated for so long and then for it to be die down only Disney then resurrect him again. Yeah. I just don't want to see bad Spider-Man films, and Sony has not been able to prove for years they've been able to make a good live-action Spider-Man film, or okay. a live-action spin-off Spider-Man film. Okay, but but they did do Into the Spider-Verse. Which let's they were let, minimally let, involved. Let, let's, let's not ignore that, that, that. That is probably the best Spider-Man movie of all time. And... Okay, Marvel has shown them how to do a good Spider-Man. So it is possible. It is possible. They're going like, all right, we see how to do this now. All we got to do is follow this blueprint and stay on the path, and we'll be okay. People, they love seeing the comic book come to life. Yes. Or the comic books come to life. That's why the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe is so special to people. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. it's not just these individual movies anymore. They get to see characters interact with each other, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know, and and seeing Spider Man, yeah, that's cool. See Spider Man done right, that's amazing. Yeah, that is great. But to see a Spider Man finally get to interact with all your favorite characters that have been interacting with each other mm-hmm. this whole time, that's where I think that's where it is. It, it you know the what 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 people are really what they're worried about not seeing anymore. Yeah, that's what oh. makes it so much fun. Yeah, oh. that's what makes it a lot oh, of fun. It make, oh, it makes it it's, it's so, so much fun. And, and certainly, I wanted to stay with the MCU as much as everybody else. But all these people out there, they love Venom, and they want a Venom slash Spider-Man movie. And but that's the only way to make that happen. And but why? And they won't shut up until they get that. Some people are like, yeah, I'll see it no matter what. But other yeah. people are like, it ain't going to be a good one. <laughs> you know, at this point. I'm not, I'm not even, look, I'm not even talking about this as a fan. I'm talking about this looking at it as, you know, again, for what they say it is, uh, you know, a business. You know, I'm looking at it from a business point of view because, let me see here. Uh, looking for that turd in the wind right now? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, I've seen that. I've yeah. Seen that a long time ago. <laughs> like, I personally Keeps thought. following me. I, I, yes. thought, I thought the Venom movie was shit. Yeah. But, but yes. so much for my opinion because it, it made tons of money. It was a huge commercial hit. Yeah. 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 It made so, tons. how can I argue with them? No, I get that. I, I'm just speaking of for the sake of quality. And like, yeah, it, it, those films can make as much money as they want, but it's like eventually you're going to see less returns for that because wasn't something like Batman v Superman that made a lot of money, made $800 million, didn't hit mm-hmm. a million. But then look at, but I think universally people dislike that movie. You know, you talk to more people than not. I, people will say, yeah, that was, that was a bad film. And then look at how that impacted Justice League because the people yes, just didn't like yes, the movie there Superman. Is that. And then it'll, ju- it'll just, it will lower, I think, the appeal of these characters eventually where no one wants to see uh, a Superman film or even a Batman movie because of how they've been well, treated the, the, for so the, long. Everybody's threshold for superhero movies is tenuous already. Sure. Marvel comes out with something that's that that's good or great mm-hmm. and everybody loves them. Maybe more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if somebody comes out with one that's mediocre to bad or terrible and everybody's like man i'm sick of these i don't want anymore yeah and every time somebody makes a bad one it chips away at the tolerance level that everybody exactly. has for them. yep yep it affects everything it doesn't matter if it's dc or yeah. sony yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah all yeah. well here's okay so i think my problem here with this and again looking at this just from a business angle of what they built and if to catch all up again, you know, you can see right here, it's been the news, Spider-Man back in action as, as Sony agrees to Disney uh, company, uh, you know, for a new movie, uh, return to MCU. And this is from Deadline. Uh, then they had this whole thing about how they got to the deal. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if you want to read about that, again, that's a an, that's an Deadline article right there. But the the problem for me here is that the more that Marvel has tried to build up their 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 their, their IP, you know, their properties, their, you know, their universe, uh, they they've gone in and done that. You know, the, we've always said that everybody else has failed because yep. they went in and, and and calculated that very carefully. It took their time. They took it? their time and built this whole thing very carefully. Able to make corrections over time in case they stumbled. It's like, okay, that didn't work. How do we address this? Yeah. And they yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. But they, you know, they it's been more than just a money thing with them. Yeah. You know, it's quality. been it, it has been about quality. Quality control. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Quality control. Uh, and people out there, you know, they're thinking about the possibilities of, of you know, and a lot of people are saying, what's the what are some of the great things that could happen? And people are being positive, and that's great. Because uh, a lot of people are now these things might not happen, but people are just out there thinking, all right, you know, what what would I want to see that's possible right now? Now that he's back, without complaining and worrying about all this kind of nonsense, uh, 
Like some people, you can read tweets where people are saying that one of the things that they would love the most if maybe, we never know, it could happen. Uh, they have Daredevil now. What if, uh, I'll read this one right here from Jester David. My greatest desire for hashtag Spider-Man 3 with Sony and the MCU. Peter goes to court against Jameson and the Daily Bugle is rep- and he is represented by Matt Murdock uh, leading to a Daredevil Spider-Man crossover. You know? Okay. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. He's done in the comics too. Daredevil has uh, defended other superheroes when it caused like well, uh, him and him and Spider Man were damage. one of the earliest crossovers. They yeah. used to cross over a lot. They share before. villains, Kingpin especially. They share villains. There's times when Spider Man was out of commission and Daredevil would take over for him and yep. vice versa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, so that'd be a great thing. Mm-hmm. But that's not what they're talking about. No, no, they're not talking about the cool possibilities that could go on with crossovers uh, with, with characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, and I wouldn't be so – look, I, I would probably be less worried uh, if uh, if this didn't come from the man himself, Kevin Feige. Mm-hmm. Kevin Feige has already gone in and talked about, you know, what the possibilities are with this deal and not the possibilities of what they could do within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Uh, the, if you get right to it, you know, what they, what they what he's talking about right now – and what they've done, you know, when we watched that trailer, they were talking about, uh, and if you've seen Spider-Man Far From Home, you know, sorry to spoil anything for you, but they kind of teased you with, oh, there's a multiverse out there. Now, it didn't happen in the movie, but <laughs> he said, we're going to, you know, don't worry, we're going to bring it out somewhere. You, you just wait and see it. I think a lot of people don't want to hear about a multiverse through this deal. <laughs> you know, they want oh, they, no, they to hear, hear about it somewhere else. They don't want to hear about dimension hopping. Because of this deal, they wanted to. You know, they wanted because you know, one of the characters we already know and love has done something cool that's natural for the story. Yeah. And Kevin Feige is already kind of teased. Yeah, yes. That you know, well, hey, you know, multiverse might already be here because, uh, well, Sony says so. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> it's, so we got the we got the we got we got our Spider Man that we love, and then we got the Sony verse Spider Man. Man, here's where my theories come in that somebody gave me today. <laughs> what I'm Ooh. thinking about here because okay. here it is this is from you, these, this has been quoted in a bunch of articles he says this is from Kevin Feige I am thrilled that Spidey's journey in the MCU will continue and I and all of us at Marvel Studios are very excited that we get to keep working on it Spider-Man is a powerful icon and hero whose story crosses all ages and audiences around the globe he also happens to be the only now here's, now here's where it gets crazy now here's where I'm a little worried he happens to be the only hero, I'm sorry, he also happens to be the only superhero to cross the cinematic universes. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spidey, their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises oh, the no. future might hold. <laughs> uh-huh, now, 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 now you see? <laughs> now you see what's happening here now? That let's get let, let's get yeah, us some imagine theory. a summer where we have two Spider-Man movies competing against each other. <laughs> so we know which one's the good one, which one's the bad one. Yeah, yeah. that's that dark universe. I don't yeah. like that. Now we had just man, talked you go about see the new Spider-Man movie. <laughs> yeah, man, that was badass. We talking about that was some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one did you see? <laughs> oh. See. <laughs> this is this is where things because they they said yeah no I'm glad he's back too but we ain't gonna stop doing the shit we doing yeah so that vampire he's still gonna do his thing Morbius that is in production right now yeah Jared Leto more yeah with Jared Leto Morbius the the living vampire Gappy uh they talking about doing it <laughs> <laughs> that's what he probably told Disney Gappy you want beef you don't want no beef you don't want no beef, want no beef. <laughs> Come on, some beef. oh Jesus uh, <laughs> silver silver sable and black cat and uh, a couple other characters are there enough characters? white wigs to go around <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh they apparently they got enough just exchange them during the period oh, mine. <laughs> we should in, we should invest now. With stock and white wigs, <laughs> huge. Yeah, yeah, sure. Once they bring on Storm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> enough white wigs to go around. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Not that I want them, but they, uh, uh, you know, they, they, and then they, 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 they're bringing out characters that they bring out characters nobody even asked for. Yeah, and they just continue to expand without knowing. Venom did fine. Yeah, we got that, but. 
that was one movie. Now they're trying to now they're begging all these other movies, and they just they just piling on characters without knowing if this universe is or this Spidey verse is even going to work. They talking about throwing in this goddamn old woman in bondage right Ma- here, Madam Web, Madam Web movie, Madam Web movie, a Madam Web movie. Is Spider Man supposed to be in it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, they they got the option now. Oh wow. Co-starring Spider-Man. Wait, who, who's talking about doing this? Uh, MCU or Sony? Sony. Oh, Sony. Sony. Okay. Sony owns those characters. Yeah, right. yeah they yeah. own all those characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know, I did, this is I mean, they made crazy. a Venom movie without Spider-Man in it at all. <laughs> was that? They made a Venom movie without Spider-Man in it at all. And I, you know what? And I was kind of cool with that. Like, I'm fine. Fans love it. That's what I said on Friday. You know, you guys, you get... Go ahead. You know, love the movie. I don't I don't mm-hmm. care if you like the movie or not. It's not for me to sit up here and... and, uh, and and worry about how much you can love Venom, and um, you know and whether or not you disagree with me. Uh, Venom was a movie that, whether you liked it or not, is fine because it stood on its own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But things start to get a little muddled if we if we start to pursue things beyond that. And and now here's here's where my theory comes in. Uh, with this, and this, this this actually was presented to me by somebody else today, and I was like, "Damn, you know, I hate it, but that's a possibility." And it could even be cool, but I'll tell you why I think it's not. Now, as I was saying here, now here's a theory right here. As we were mentioning with with all these uh, with, with this talk of doing a multiverse, as Kevin Feige hinted, consider this: barring that. The situation doesn't change with Disney, uh, and you know, and Sony is is considering you know pushing on with this Spidey verse. Think about uh, think about this. So, in the last movie, where uh, where the where where the world learns that, let me see if I can find the clip where the world learns that. Uh, that Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. Here's the real blockbuster. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you got this moment right here where they're going to go in, they're going to try to wrap everything up and whatnot. Uh, what about after the next movie? Is Spider-Man, you know, he has to lay low or, you know, there's, or he learns uh, through, uh, he learns that there's a conflict on another world. And he has to go take care of that, you know, something that requires Spider-Man to be there for some reason. Now they have this whole thing. If they're doing multiverses, Sony could be a whole other universe. Yeah. Now imagine if you get somebody like Doctor Strange. He's like, Peter, you know, Peter, I'll send you someplace else where nobody will have to f*** with you anymore. So, you know, <laughs> nobody have to deal with you. You lay low. And it's a good thing, too, because you're needed on other worlds. <laughs> They don't know the situation in your in, in this universe where the only thing that's missing is an element like you. And then you have this whole thing where now Doctor Strange sends him to the Spider-Verse, which is owned by Sony. This, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, I'm sorry, Peter, the 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 check cash. <laughs> yeah. To see you. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go there. <laughs> hey, the company says so. <laughs> Zap. <laughs> I don't want to go. 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 Dr. Sean, don't He has to send them to a world where he got to help because the only thing that can stop, the, uh, uh, stop this other foe or there's, a, there's, a, there's another anti-hero that probably needs some, some, uh, some, some training or needs, needs, needs an example. Maybe you can go there and help out with that. That's us. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, I, 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 that is a possibility. Like at the end of Spider-Man Three, Doctor Strange has to send them to this, this the Sony verse now, and I could be kind of cool, maybe. But even if they made a great film with that, it would still feel like okay. At some point down the line, it still leaves the possibility of being able to just mess things up with the Marvel Cinematic mm. Universe. Mm. Uh, things get a little muddled now, and at, you know, and it doesn't feel natural. It's always going to feel like it was a business arrangement. It'll be like a sour end to that movie, but it does make sense that Doctor Strange would be the one to do that, since they're apparently introducing multiverses in his sequel. It's called the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, you would imagine that's okay. Here's a preview of that. Or that film might actually be coming out after. 
uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness because that's like 2021, July of 2021. So it makes sense. You introduce that in Doctor Strange and you have him do some nonsense in the third Spider Man film. Yeah. So and, and 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 it just like I said, now you're getting way complicated. Now all this stuff is intermingled with each other, and of course you can write these things out. But mm-hmm. where where the the what they've done with the with the MCU, especially what they've done with the Spider Man. You know, it all just feels natural, man. Mm-hmm. It feels like it's self-contained. It feels like they, you know, uh, again, you know, there's been quality because they are really concerned about this. This really is some shit now where it's like you get Spider-Man on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> we get, <laughs> and we get Spider-Man, or we get full custody the rest of the week. You know, you're in a situation like that where I don't think it feels natural. That's the thing that scares me. Now we're entering an area where it can get very messy, you know, and they've been able to like, uh, and it's all based on, around one character. That's kind of throwing all this off. You yeah. know? I, I foresee two different scenarios. Yeah, please. Okay, one, because Feige's been really smart. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and the MCU has been built on they're not A-list characters. B-list characters the most part. Yeah, B-list. Like, like Iron Man. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't think of Iron Man, uh, Iron Man as B-list now, mm-hmm. but he kind of was. Absolutely was. But they're like, okay, we don't have Spider-Man or the Hulk, but we got mm-hmm. Iron Man. Let's mm-hmm. build it from there. And they yeah. did a fantastic job. Yep. So yeah, you get Spider-Man back because everybody's like hungry for Spider-Man. But this is a chance to take some other characters and start pumping them up and building them into that space. And they have a lot of teenage characters that they can do that with. You just within the comics, so they can ch- start making them sort of the new Spider-Man that everybody's yeah well, crazy. And we had talked about that before. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. talked about that before. The other thing is, which seems to me the most obvious, is that eh, okay, we got a movie and an appearance. We struck this deal. Time comes around, strike another deal. Yeah, I, I one of the things that could happen. I mean, this is something that could happen down the line. They, they could work out another deal, and that's what they could just kind of keep working on it and keep working on it, so that we don't have to do this. I. That doesn't bar the whole thing of him having to appear in all these other movies. And I just I would love for those things. Look, if Sony took them, I'd rather them just take the character back. I don't want to start crossing over with them. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, like like I said, these deals have worked out in Sony's favor so far. You know, is somebody coming to you and saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna do all the work, and you're gonna get a percentage by just sitting around doing nothing." Mm-hmm. There's no reason for you to not take that. Yeah. So when the yeah. time comes around that you might go like, well, maybe I can get an extra percent. But otherwise, it's like, yeah, there's no reason for me to to not let this happen the way it's going. Yeah, I would love that possibility. Especially that, knowing that yeah. anytime you want, you can go like, all right, I want it all back now. It, you know, and, and I think that I would, I would, you know, I would, I'm, I'm always hopeful that, you know, they would do the right thing and just say, hey, look, we can't. We really can't sully the, you know, the, the, the image of these properties. And, you know, we can't have them just, you know, crossing over all over the place just because of money, you know. Mm-hmm. Kevin Feige, though, another thing that's said about him is like, how long can he just keep doing this? You know, how long can he just, because now he's talking about doing a Star Wars movie. And yeah. like they're trying to groom him over there to take over. <laughs> take over. They're trying, yeah. So See, that's the thing. I, I think more about that. If there's a worry, it's that Kevin Feige has done you know he's he's done what nobody could do with mm-hmm. this already. Yeah. So with Marvel, he's got nothing left to prove, and there's going to be a point when he's run through all the stories that he likes, where sure. he's like, "All right, well, it's time for me to move on to something else. Let yeah. Some, let somebody else deal with this shit because I've hey, I'm the king. Yeah. If you feel you ain't going, you ain't you're not going to disturb my legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 maybe I can move on to Star Wars and show that I can do the the same thing here. Yeah, can do it right. And I bet he probably has understudies. Like, you know, of course, what I hope he's grooming him. somebody. He, yeah. he has. Oh, yeah. He's grooming someone, oh, yeah. and they'll be able to take over for whatever this new iteration of Marvel will be. Yeah, and so, it, you know, it, it, it could be the Russo brothers come back and go like, all right, yeah. well, this is ours. Oh now. yeah, they'll they'll come back and do a film. Definitely, yeah. just take some yeah. time off. Mm. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I, that's yeah. You're right. That's one of the things I was worried about. Like. What if he's gone and somebody comes in and just kind of like, well, shit, I'm about to get paid. <laughs> you know? I mean, the, the, the big problem with, that happens with all these movie studios is that the, it's always like that, that lion mentality of a new person comes in. Well, I, I got to eat the young. Like, I got to make my mark yeah. by destroying everything <laughs> sure. that the predecessor did. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. We'll find out, man. i find out. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just tired of seeing this little poor spider boy go from house to house, man. You know? <laughs> They, they're turning him into a foster kid. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hit that subscription button, get notifications, and also check out our main site, doubletoasted.com. You can get more of us over there because you'll find the long version of this video. And oh, those are also uncensored, unedited. And you'll also find 
the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us at our store, dtmerch.com. And remember to always stay 